What's up? It's Billy from Masterful Mechanics Baseball. This is training video number eight. Uh, numero ucho for our Spanish speaking friends. Um, we're trying to figure out what, what subject to cover today. Uh, I just looked at you know what I was currently doing and what I'm working on. And right now I'm training for my season, trying to get my arms strong. So I'm in the midst of my long toss program. So today we're gonna cover our long toss protocol. All right, which brings us to our three main learning objectives. Objective number one, like always, is just to learn the, the video, uh, learn the long toss procedures. Okay, so you'll definitely get a hold of that. Uh, number two is to learn how our long toss program is gonna be beneficial to us as all baseball players, position players and pitchers. Everyone should be long tossing. Um, it's a great, a great part of the game and something that you definitely need to be doing. And then object, learning objective number three is to learn how long toss is gonna be able to improve our throwing mechanics and obviously build our arm strength. Okay, so learning objective number one, learn our long toss procedures. Here we go. Um, you're gonna start you know, throwing with your partner, obviously. Um, hopefully you have a partner. If you don't, you can throw into a net, but let's say for the sake of the video, we're gonna be throwing with a partner. So um, start out however far you need to, you know, you're warming up with your partner. You can start your, your warm up throwing program any way you want, um, doing whatever drills you want as you gradually move back away from your partner. And this is what we call the extension phase. So you're gonna extend out. Your partner is gonna be on the foul line. You're gonna be in the outfield and you're gonna be extending back uh, straight back towards the center field wall. Okay, so that's the extension phase. In the extension phase, um, you want to do your step and throw for as far back as you can get um, until you get to 80% exertion. All right, so I'm gonna step and throw, step and throw, keep extending my way back, keep moving back as my arm gets looser. And the main thing that we wanna cover here, which is part of our learning objective number two, is why we do the long toss program like this. In the extension phase, going back, we wanna make sure that we're putting loft under the ball. Okay, we always wanna put loft under it and let our arm get long and loose. Okay, that's the key for the extension phase of the long toss program. We wanna be long and loose. And obviously being long and loose is going to help uh, with the health of our arm and also the strength of our arm as well. So, we're going back to the extension phase. Again, only put loft under the ball. You're not gonna throw it on a line. Put loft, nice and easy. You are going to have consistent mechanics though and work on something and have intent on every throw and focus on, um, focus on whatever factor you need to focus on, really. So it can be our four points of emphasis, shoulder, hip, knee, heel, okay? On our target, we can focus on that. We can focus on leading with the hip first. We can focus on staying on our back leg, stepping towards our target, getting to the T, pulling down with our front arm, okay? Releasing, what we wanna release, get loft up. Okay, so whatever you're working on, all I ask is that you have intent behind every throw and you're focused and working on something every throw. So, enough about that. You're gonna get back to as far as you can go until you're at about 80% exertion. It does, why 80%? It's just, um, it's just an estimate and it's, some, it's somewhere that I like to be when I long toss and I go back and I'm like, all right, I'm at 80% now and I can't make it in the air anymore. All right, so what do I do? Okay, when I'm, now I'm just stepping and throwing, boom, okay. I can't make it um, in the air anymore throwing 80%, so I'm gonna do my crow hop. Okay, crow hop is a huge part of the, our long toss program. Okay, so for a crow hop, we're gonna learn how this is gonna help our throwing mechanics and our arm strength, and we're still extending back. So 80%, step and throw. Um, now I need to crow hop to get it there and still stay at 80% or below. So with our crow hop, this is what we're gonna focus on. Again, we can be facing our partner sideways in the middle, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, but I focus, okay, hands together to start. I'm gonna step with my lead leg. Boom, this one, take my back foot behind me. Try to get some sink, tilt back, get to the T, push. Use my front arm to tuck, 
Reach out and throw. Okay, one more time. Front foot, and this is for the crow hop, and we're still getting loft under it, and we're in the extension phase. Push, get to the T, drive, reach out. Okay, that's what we're going to do for our crow hop. And you want to do this the same way every time. Four points of emphasis on the target. Okay, keep the same good mechanics. And this is how your long toss program is going to help your throwing mechanics stay consistent because every throw is going to be, it should be the same. All right, just about the same because for fielding, you know, we're a position player. We want our throwing mechanics to be the same so we have more accuracy and we don't have to think about throwing the ball. We just field it, boom, flip it to first the same way every time. As a pitcher, obviously, we want consistent throwing mechanics um, so we can hide our off speed, so we can uh, get the same release point, so then we throw more strikes and with more velocity and more intent. All right, so this is going to help our throwing, our throwing mechanics overall. All right, and so then, once you're crow hopping back to, and you get to 80%, all right, I'm throwing the ball at 80% now, loft under it, okay, I'm throwing it in the air. I can't get it to my partner anymore at 80%. All right, let's see how you feel that day. Say I'm feeling really good, so I'm gonna move back and then I'm gonna throw a few at, say, 85 or 90%. If I'm still feeling good, then I'll move back and I'll throw um, a few more at 90%. And then I'll move back a little more, still getting it in the air, on a loft. Then I'll get it back, okay, I'll throw maybe one or two at 95%. If I'm feeling really good, I rarely do this. Um, you got to be feeling really good and make sure this is maybe leading up to the season, not on the day of a game or the day before a game because you don't want to tire out your arm if you have a game uh, coming up. But maybe throw one or two at the most at 100% with getting loft in the extension phase. All right, so once you've reached the maximum distance that you're going back, okay, then we're going to start to work our way in, okay? And this is the pull down phase. So now instead of getting loft under the ball, our first throw back coming in is gonna be pull it down. So we're gonna try to put it on a line. And we're gonna stay in the crow hop, okay? Same good mechanics, stay in the crow hop. And everything's gonna be the same. Okay, here, step foot, back foot, lead with the hip, sink back. But the only difference is we're gonna use our front arm to really pull down and get our release point out front. Okay, so I'll show you a few in real time uh, so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like on the pull down phase. Again, the main thing with the pull down is work to get that tilt and sink here and then pull down hard and get your release point all the way out here with all your momentum going forward in that crow hop. I'll show you one more. All right, so you're gonna take a throw every maybe five, 10, 15 feet as you're coming in, putting them on a line every time, trying to hit your partner in the chest, okay? It's gonna feel good because you're gonna see not only can I loft the ball that far, but now my arm's getting stronger and I can actually put it on a line, okay, and get that backspin out of my fingers and have the ball carry, boom, and get it there on a line. It feels good to be able to throw the ball, you know, 70, 80 yards on a line. If you can do that, you're throwing 90, 95 miles per hour. Uh, if you can't do that, you can work your way up to it. All right, so we're gonna bring in uh, the pull down phase. Uh, depending on how good you feel, you can do as many throws as you want coming in. All right, until you get to about 90 feet, um, 90 feet, maybe 80 feet, you can do a few more. Once you get closer than that, we're not gonna do any more of the pull downs because we're close to our partner and we don't wanna kill him. Um, maybe he's a pitcher, you know, and he's not the best at receiving the ball, so we don't wanna injure anyone. But on the pull down phase, we're throwing uh, maximum, almost maximum effort. So we're looking at about 90 to 95% every throw and you can crank a few up to 100 as well on the pull down. Okay, so extension phase going back, stay below 80%, get loft under the bar, ball, let it loose and long. We should be releasing up here, still with good mechanics, loft it. Okay, once we get back, start coming in for the pull down phase, then you're cranking it up. Okay, you're cranking that ball and you're trying to throw a seed to your partner. So we're talking 90, 95%. As you pull down, get that drive out of your legs, get your legs under you, throw the ball from the ground up. Okay, so there is our long toss protocol. That's the protocol I follow. 
Um, I got it from the, the drive line throwing program, which they've, been, they've had a lot of success. Um, and I mirror myself and my program somewhat after them. Um, it's gonna be a little different. But for me, that's what works. So that's learning objective number one. You've learned our long toss protocol. Congratulations. Now you can go out and do it. Have some fun with it. See how it feels. Um, for learning objective number two, you've learned how your throwing mechanics can improve and your arm strength is definitely gonna improve. Uh, mechanically, you're gonna try to stay consistent with every throw and th that's how you're going to improve the consistency of your mechanics. And you want to have a certain intent with every throw. Don't just throw for the sake of throwing. You only have so many bullets in your arm, so don't waste any. Hey, you only have so much time in the day. So every throw you should focus while you're out there. Then after, when you're done, then you can, you know, mess around with your buddies, talk, um, whatever, do TikTok, whatever, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, but while you're throwing, I just ask that, you know, you have maximum intent and focus every throw. Okay, and it's obviously this long toss program is gonna build our arm strength because the more we do it, you're gonna see that you're able to go back further and further, still throwing under 80% um, in the extension phase to get loft under it. Okay, so that's the coolest thing about it. You're gonna see, wow, my arm's getting stronger quicker than normal because I'm lofting it, I'm staying long and loose. And that's how you build that arm strength and keep your arm flexible and durable. And then learning objective number three, um, to learn why we do the protocol this way. Um, like I said, to stay long and loose on the extension phase. And then when we're coming in, we want to work on pulling down hard and getting our release point out front, boom, right here. Okay, because as a pitcher or position player, we need our release point down and we need to reach out and release out front. So that's why on the pull down phase, we're going to come in and we're going to get that release point down. All right, so there you have it for our long toss protocol. Um, I'll give you some more information here on just like how often you should be long tossing, how many throws, et cetera. Um, for how often, if you're just starting out, you know, you took the winter off, which is a good thing. You should take the winter off from throwing. You're starting back up in the spring. You know, you have a month or two before your practices start. Perfect. Um, I usually start throwing about two months before two months before my season starts, actually. So two months before I have to report to spring training. Um, it takes me about eight weeks to get my arm um, in the shape I need it to be to start the season. And it's gonna get stronger throughout the season, but to get it where I need it to be to start uh, spring training, it's gonna be about eight weeks, give or take. So about, you can, when you start, maybe start with you know, th long tossing three days a week, and then after two weeks of that, you can um, do it maybe four or five days a week, and then two weeks later, um, you can do it six days a week, uh, maybe even seven, uh, but I advise that you take at least one day off a week just to let your arm regenerate and recoup, you know, get some recovery. But as you do it more and more, you're going you're gonna to realize, like, notice how your body feels, and you got to listen to your body. So if you're throwing five days a week, um, you don't have to long toss and go back to 80% every time. But I usually go back to at least, on the extension phase, I go back to at least maybe 70%. So I get 70% exertion every time that I throw, just to get my arm stretched out long and loose. And then say I'm feeling really good that day, yeah, I'm gonna pull down, I'm gonna pull down hard, and I'm gonna throw, you know, maybe 15, 20 pull downs coming in. Uh, say I'm not feeling that good that day, but I wanna throw anyway, because I know I want, I'm trying to get better, and we can't make every day a recovery day. So I'm throwing, and I don't feel that good, so I'm just gonna take it back to maybe where I can get it in the air on a crow hop at 60, 65, 70%, and then stop there. And then on the, the pull down phase, maybe I'll pull down a few, maybe I won't pull down any. Maybe I'll just loft it back in, coming in for a little cool down. So you gotta listen to your body. All right, during the season, um, if you're playing three games a week, at, if you're playing at least three or four games a week, you should be long tossing at least five days a week. So every day before the game, pitchers and position players, five up to six days a week. So for me, um, I like to throw as often as my arm feels good, which is usually I'm blessed. Usually it's five or six days a week. So uh, you're free to make your choice there. It's all about you got to feel you and you got to know how your arm and your body is feeling. So uh, if you guys have questions, you can reach out to me. I think I covered all three of our learning objectives. I hope you learned a lot. I know there was a lot of discussion. 
uh, in this training video and not a lot of action. So we'll get some more action for our next one. But again, thank you for rocking with me. Until next time, peace out.